Hi, Emi teaches kids electronics through building and playing. We have monthly project subscriptions where we send your family a new electronics kit each month to build and learn from. We also have free interactive lessons online. Here's a quick, simple experiment that shows conceptually how a battery works using some parts from our hands-on project subscription, as well as some parts from the hardware store and grocery store. With some copper, some zinc plating, wires, and lemons, we can make our own battery. You want to wrap some wire around the copper as well as the zinc plating. Stick one end of the copper into one part of the lemon. Stick the zinc plating into another part. Make sure the zinc and the copper are not touching inside the lemon. The copper end becomes our red positive battery terminal and the zinc end becomes our black negative battery terminal. Each lemon actually makes a pretty weak battery. So we wire up a couple together to make a stronger one. We take the red, the red positive battery terminal from one lemon, wire up to the negative battery terminal of another, and make a daisy chain as such, and wind up with a single battery where we have a red positive battery terminal from one lemon and a black battery terminal from the other lemon. This concept is very similar to when you stack multiple batteries together to make a stronger one, such as these two AA batteries. Here's the battery in action, lighting up an LED. Like in a battery, when the two terminals make a closed circuit, a chemical reaction occurs inside the battery, or the lemon in this case, where electrons are released out of the black negative terminal or the zinc plating through the circuit to the copper terminal or the positive terminal of the battery. Hence, creating electric current powering the LED. Notice, we don't have a resistor in this circuit. Because the lemons are not very strong batteries, we don't need to protect the LED from a strong electric current. As a matter of fact, a resistor would restrict so much of the little electric current in a lemon battery, the LED wouldn't even light up. Lastly, here's a Project Genius light using a red LED from Project Fade to Black both from our monthly projects. We removed the resistor from the circuit to increase current flow and then substitute the battery wires for the lemon battery. Like a night light, see the LED light up when the photoresistor is darkened, all powered by lemons, copper, and zinc. Give this a try yourself. For more information about current resistors, LEDs, and photoresistors, come learn with us with our online lessons or check out our monthly hands-on project subscriptions. Thanks!